Hi there, my channel of Lumineer Skin and Spa. Welcome to 360 Anti-Aging TV, where we talk about how to age optimally so you can live the longest, healthiest, and most beautiful life possible. Today, we're going to be talking about how a well-executed anti-aging program can help boost your immune system to help you fight off bacterial and viral infections like the COVID-19. A well-functioning immune system is critical to aging well. For those of you who have seen my previous videos, you would know that aging is the biological loss of function as an individual becomes older. Your immune system is one of the most critical biological functions you have as a human being. You see, most people assume that your immune system is only there to help you combat bacterial and viral infections. This is not true. In fact, your immune system is working 24 hours a day seven days a week, helping to keep your body young. The body keeps itself young by constantly breaking down and repairing damaged cells and proteins. And it is the job of the immune system to make sure that these repairs happen constantly. When the body begins to break down faster than the rate at which your immune system can build it back up, then biological function is compromised and aging is accelerated. You can see then how important it is to maintain a healthy immune system in order to age well. So how do we boost the immune system? By keeping inflammation low in the body at all times. Today, I'm going to be giving you five tips on how you can lower inflammation and boost your immune system. These are tips that won't require you to invest in any fancy gadgets or expensive supplements. Tips that you can do at home right away so you can begin improving your immune system but before we do that I'd like to ask you for a simple favor if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be informed every time I have a new video that will come out this will really really help me in spreading my message to more people I really really appreciate you doing this for me and from the bottom of my heart thank you so much in advance so here we go five tips on how you can boost your immune system and lower inflammation. Tip number one, breathe. Not the way you and I are breathing right now. I want you to practice active breathing. Now, breathing correctly activates your body's parasympathetic nervous system. This is your body's rest and repair mode. Upping your parasympathetic tone decreases your circulating levels of cortisol, which are your stress hormones. This in turn will allow your immune system to work better. Breathing deeply also releases nitric oxide into your body. Nitric oxide has antiviral properties. Not only that, it is a vasodilator, which means it can relax the smooth muscles of the arteries, allowing your heart to pump more efficiently. This reduces stress and inflammation in your body, helping your immune system work better. Now, before I give you some active breathing exercises, I need to know that you can breathe correctly. You've all heard of diaphragmatic breathing. The diaphragm is a muscle which separates the abdominal cavity from the thoracic cavity. And activating this muscle well will enable you to breathe correctly. So here's how it's done. I'm going to take you through a couple of breaths, show you how to do it correctly, and then let you do it on your own. When we practice diaphragmatic breathing, I need you to be aware of your belly button. When you inhale through your nose, you take in the breath and make sure that you fill this area first. You will feel an expansion in your belly area and it will travel all the way up to your rib cage. I need you at this point to put your hands on your rib cage and feel your rib cage expand sideways. This is how the drill works. You take in the breath through the nose, you fill your belly with air. After the belly is full, you expand the ribs sideways. And when this area is full as well, you exhale slowly through the nose or through pursed lips, and then your rib cage will have to contract. So too will your belly. This is how it's done. First, I'm filling the belly, and at this point, I'm going to be filling 
the rib cage and allowing the rib cage to expand sideways. When I release the breath, either through my nose or through pursed lips, the rib cage deflates and so does the belly. Do it with me. Breathe in, belly button. Expand the rib cage. Breathe out through your nose or through pursed lips. Deflate the rib cage. Deflate the belly. You do it. So now that you know how to breathe correctly, let me take you through an exercise that will help you increase your parasympathetic tone and boost your immune system. This is called the four count box breathing method. What I need you to do is to inhale through the nose for four counts, hold the breath for four counts, exhale through the nose for four counts, and hold that for four more counts. You can do this for 10 repetitions and see how you feel afterwards. First, let's do this together. Breathe in through the nose for four counts. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Hold the breath. Two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. And hold. Two, three, four. Perfect. Please don't underestimate the power of this exercise. It looks very, very simple, but it's a very, very useful tool. If you have hypertension or increased heart rates, you can see that after doing this for 10 repetitions, your heart rate will actually decrease and blood pressure goes down. Now, if you've been doing this for quite a while and it becomes too easy, you can increase the count to six and then to eight. Use this every time you feel the need to relax and you can also use this to help you sleep better at night. Tip number two, do not exercise. I'm kidding. Exercise is great for the body, but what I mean is, for now, do not exercise for overly long periods of time or with too much intensity. You see, as good as exercise is, it is still a hormetic stress to the body. And as a stressor, the body will still need to repair damage done by the exercise. And hence, it activates the inflammatory process. The heavier and more intense the exercise is, the greater the inflammation. Instead of doing high intensity interval trainings, you can try low impact prolonged exercises. Walking is a great example. We've talked about how crucial vitamin D is in maintaining your immune function. You can actually use your walking exercises to get your daily dose of sunlight. Walking for one hour between 8 to 10 in the morning and between 3 to 5 in the afternoon is an excellent way to promote health and at the same time build vitamin D. Tip number three, meditate. Now we discussed earlier the importance of activating the parasympathetic nervous system in order to reduce stress and boost your immune levels. Now while deep breathing and low intensity exercises are great ways to do this, another excellent adjunct therapy would be to do meditation. Science has proven time and time again that meditation activates your parasympathetic nervous system lowers stress in the body, and boosts your immune system. What is the best meditation technique? It is this. It is the one that you will do. You see, meditation is useless if you're only going to do it once or twice and then stop. If you need to do it for only one minute a day just to get you into a habit, then start there. Personally, I do 15 minutes of meditation in the morning and then 15 minutes 
at night before I go to bed, and I use guided meditations. So I have tracks that I listen to when I practice my meditation. You can find this on YouTube or you can find these online. Tip number four, optimize your sleep. Sleep is the time where your parasympathetic nervous system is at its most active and cortisol levels are at its lowest. This is the time when your body repairs itself, so getting deep sleep is crucial for building your immune system. Now the problem is, since we're all housebound, you're probably at home sitting all day in front of a computer, your smartphone, or a TV screen. And this could be a problem. If you've never heard of blue light, it is the shortest wavelength of the sun's visible light spectrum. It's what gives the sky its blue color. Now, the absence of blue light helps to regulate the sleep cycle. When the sun goes down and blue light is gone, it signals your pineal gland to release melatonin, which then helps your body prepare for sleep. But if you're sitting all night in front of your computer, laptop, smartphone, or TV, the blue light being emitted by the screen, in effect, tells your body that it is still daylight and not yet time for sleep. Hence, melatonin will not be upregulated and deep sleep will not be possible. Now here's what you can do about it. Invest in a pair of good quality blue light blockers. Blue light blockers have lens that block out the 380 nanometer to 500 nanometer or blue light spectrum of visible light. So it will in effect help you sleep better at night. Tip number five. Optimize your nutrition. As always, I've saved the best for last, and for those of you who have been following my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of optimizing nutrition. Now, for a healthy immune system, we know that you need vitamins A, C, E, D, E, selenium, zinc, and copper. Now, eating a nutrient-dense diet will almost always assure that you have adequate amounts of these micronutrients. However, if you are not sure of your diet and you feel that you need to invest in supplements, my advice would be do your research and invest only in good quality, proven supplements. Now, I want to give you something more useful than just telling you to eat a nutrient-dense diet. I want to give you something actionable that you can do for me right now. During this time when this virus is active, do two things. Number one, avoid sugars. Number two, avoid processed foods. Most of us know that vitamin C is integral for boosting our immune system. What most of you don't realize is that sugar and vitamin C compete for the same transporters inside the human body. So I want you to imagine sugar and vitamin C as being passengers on the same bus that will take them where they need to go, namely your cells. Now the problem is, structurally, sugar and vitamin C are so similar that they essentially use the same bus to get to where they need to go. And if your bus is already full of sugar, then vitamin C has no room to sit. Hence, the more sugar you have in your body, the less effective vitamin C is. Sometimes, you don't even need to take extra vitamin C. All you need to do is reduce your sugar intake. Another thing I need you to do during this coronavirus crisis is stay away from processed foods. Why? Processed foods are rich in fats called polyunsaturated fats. These fats are easily oxidized and cause massive inflammation in the body. Inflammation, your immune system has to fight and therefore it taxes your immune system whenever you eat these foods. So there you have it guys, five tips on how you can boost your immune system and reduce inflammation. If you found this video useful, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I have a new video that comes out. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to message us on our website www.lumierskinandspa.com or you can reach us at our social media pages Facebook and Instagram 
Lumiere Skin and Spa. Always remember guys, if you're not aging deliberately, you are not aging well. Until next time, to your looks and your good health.